This is the Smart Halo, a device that makes your bike smart. Using a constant Bluetooth connection to your phone, this thing does five very clever things. Navigation, it'll actually show you how to get around. There's a light on the front which switches on automatically when it's dark. It will display alerts from incoming calls and texts. It's also an alarm, so it will scare the crap out of anyone trying to pinch your bike. And it can also track fitness. So if you've got a certain cycling goal you want to hit, this thing will help you achieve it. That's pretty clever. It's designed to be permanently attached to your handlebars. In fact, you're only supposed to take it off to charge it. And apparently the battery is supposed to last for weeks and weeks, so that's good. So, to stop people pulling it off and stealing it when your bike's parked, you have to use this cool little magnetic key. Otherwise, it isn't coming off. And the attachments are metal, so that's very solidly attached there. Now, although things like fitness tracking are very handy, I'm not interested in that in the slightest, can you tell? <laughs> Nor am I interested in the light, because your bike should already have lights. What I'm interested in is the navigation, how it displays calls and texts, and also the alarm. Those are the three things that I would actually buy this for. In order to test that, I have come to a housing estate that I have never explored before. I mean, seriously, I, I don't know where I am right now. I've just stopped in this little bit of green area to film this. And what I've done is in the navigation section of the Smart Halo app, I've jabbed my finger onto somewhere on the other side of this pretty large housing estate to see if the Smart Halo can guide me there using just the turn signals that show up on the device itself. So I've absolutely no idea how to get there. I just know the name of a street and I know that it's somewhere around here, somewhere. Okay, um, let's do it. Now, I'm very glad that I picked a very quiet housing estate on a very quiet Friday lunchtime. Because look, I've got the road to myself. It's just handy, really, when you don't really know where you're going. Okay. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Well, there's only one left, so it must be that. Here we go. It's nice around here. We are getting a left turn signal coming up. Which is, I'm very grateful for that because I have absolutely no idea where I am now. Oh, it's a busy road. I'm getting a left here. I assume it can do rights as well. So the real advantage here, in terms of navigation, is that I don't have to mount my phone on my handlebars. Because doing so is not only dangerous for the phone in case I fall, or in case I forget I leave it there when I park my bike and someone nicks it, but it's also dangerous because it's a distraction. Because I can read texts, I can you know, do a quick Google search. That's a bad thing. So just having the bare essentials available in a nice bright light, left or right, is safe. It's not distracting. But are you taking me the right way? Because I'm getting hungry. I get a left turn here. It's also nice to know that because it's Bluetooth, it will just automatically connect to my phone whenever I get on my bike. There's no power switch. You don't switch it on or switch it off when you get on or off your bike. It's just it's on all the time. The right turn here. So the right does work, that's good. And another Louis here. Oh, what's he doing? Oh. Oh, this is it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, this is it. <laughs> okay, he got me here. I don't know where I am, but I'm here. And uh, this is a weird road, isn't it? So it works. Definitely works.
so it works and it works really well to be honest following the turn signals on this are very very clear and easy and it does give you enough warning it even warns you of a turning that's about to follow immediately after the one you're just about to take calls and text alerts ah, so so i'm not too bothered about that to be honest and getting an alert for a call or a text makes me feel a little bit nervous like i need to get off my bike every time i get one to check that it's not my family dying or something get a smartwatch if you want an alert while you're cycling you can just do that so that's not too much of an issue but the alarm the alarm is very good it's loud you can fiddle with the sensitivity in the app and if you need to switch it off but you don't have your phone or your phone is flat you can deactivate it with a tap sequence that you set in the app now that's pretty awesome so who would want this well, if you're a delivery person, like if you're one of those Deliveroo guys that brings me all my, uh, my takeaways, yes, because this is navigation without having to put your phone precariously on the handlebars. And it's also security when you've locked your bike up. For everybody else, well, if you're cycling the same route on your commute every day, you don't need the navigation. But the alarm is very good, and the calls and texts could come in handy as well. And not to mention, if you're a bit of a fitness weirdo, it will help you achieve those goals while cycling. So I really like this thing, and I am actually gonna keep on using it for cycling. So let me know what you think down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.